So you've had your sports vision exam. The doctor suggests that you need correction in order to see properly and to maximize your performance in your sport. You have a prescription in your hand and you have no idea what to do next. In this video, we'll give you 10 tips to help you decide which glasses are gonna be best for you, for your sport, and for your performance. Hello, I'm Dr. Labby. I'm a sports vision ophthalmologist with 30 years experience working with professional and elite athletes. I wanna to bring to you in this channel, the experience, the learning, and the practice that I've had with those athletes to you so you can maximize your performance in your game. Now, after getting that prescription, you have a decision to make. Do you wanna get glasses to perform in your sport or do you wanna wear contact lenses? It's sometimes a tough choice and we'll have a video about that decision in the near future. But today we're gonna to focus on sports glasses. Here's our 10 tips on how to choose the best sports vision glasses for your, your sport. Tip number one, make sure your glasses fit well. This is maybe one of the more important tips. Your glasses should be fit comfortably, not pushing too hard on the sides of your head, not causing pain over there, but also they can't be too loose. If they're too loose, when you sweat, they'll become more slippery and they'll fall off and they won't provide the purpose that they're intended to improve your game. So make sure the glasses fit you properly. Tip number two, the glasses should be impact resistant and should be 100% UV blocking. Many sports require actually protective eyewear on the, on the play, such as racquetball or lacrosse or other sports. So the glasses must be made of impact resistant materials such as Trivex or polycarbonate. And they also must be 100% UV blocking because if you're outdoors playing or practicing many hours a day, you'll be exposed to a lot of ultraviolet light. And that ultraviolet light can lead to significant eye disease in the future. Tip number three, the glasses preferably will be wraparound type of glasses so that the frame doesn't interfere with your peripheral vision. Peripheral vision is critical to many sports and we don't want anything blocking your view of your teammates or your opponents. There are several different manufacturers for wraparound glasses and as long as the glasses meet the other criteria, any of those manufacturers is fine. Tip number four, the frame should be lightweight and durable. You certainly don't want to go out onto your on the practice pitch or onto the actual game conditions with a frame that's heavy that you feel all the time that interferes with your with your vision and your performance. That's not going to be productive. That's not what we're trying to do with these glasses. They should be lightweight. They should be comfortable. Number five, the glasses and the lenses themselves should be treated with anti-reflective coating. That's important because that can help reduce glare, reduce eye strain, especially on bright sunny days. Again, making the glasses actually an aid not only in vision, but in comfort and reduction of, of the sunlight in your eyes that will actually make you play better, perform better than your teammates who don't have glasses and are bothered by their bright glare. The anti-reflective coating is something that you have to request when you have your lenses made, but speak to the optician about putting that on. It's well worth it. Tip number six, the glasses should come in a soft protective case. That's important because you're not gonna be wearing these glasses all the time. You'll have maybe uh, uh, nice, nice glasses to wear outside of your game and you want to put those sports glasses into a case that's protective. This is an important tool. You wouldn't want to throw around any one of your tools, other tools that you have for your sport. And this is a critical one that the lenses want to stay scratch free, don't want to be dirty. They want to be pristine every time you go out onto the pitch or out onto the field to play. So you have the optimal effect and optimal performance from these glasses. Tip number seven. Some people like to have glasses or frames that have interchangeable lenses. This allows you to change the lens, so let's say tint, if you want to have a, a dark lens because it's very bright, kind of a sunglasses tint, you can snap that in. And as the day gets on and the sun starts going down, you can take that out and put a clear lens on. Or perhaps you want to have a yellow tint, like you if you're skiing, to increase the contrast and make you be more able to see dips and valleys and hills on the field or on the course. All these things come when you have interchangeable lenses. And there are certain frames that allow those types of lenses. Remember though that interchangeable lenses will likely cost more because you have to buy many different sets of lenses to put in and out based on the playing conditions. But it may be worthwhile if it actually improves your performance on the field. Tip number eight, make sure that the frames come with manufacturing uh, guarantees and warranties. Sometimes you can get something that's just not right and you want to get it replaced. Sometimes there's a small defect that doesn't show up right away and only when you use those glasses on the field would there be a small crack in the frame, for example, that, that breaks and you need to get a new one, it's nice to have a warranty and some manufacturer backing on that. Remember, these glasses aren't gonna be sitting on a shelf protected. These are gonna be on your head. You're gonna be running, you're gonna be moving. There certainly could be contact with other players, elbows, bodies, ball, and so forth. And it's important that you have a good warranty if there's a defect, if there's a problem to get it repaired. Tip number nine, it's good to have a frame that is approved or is recommended by the sporting organization for the sport that you play in. 
There's certainly certain frames that won't sit underneath helmets, such as in ice hockey or in football, or there may be frames that are recommended for skiers or other athletes by their organizations that has been vetted, has been checked, and has been found to be useful under those playing conditions different from other playing conditions. Not all frames have that, not all organizations do that. But if you can find that information, that could be useful. And tip number 10, which is probably the most important one, and is the last one, is that if you can, take those frames and actually play your sport with the frames on. Maybe you won't have the lenses yet, they'll be playing glass lenses, but you'll be able to judge whether or not that frame interferes with your peripheral vision, uh, does interfere with that vision, is comfortable, is lightweight, is not pressing too hard on your eyes, is not too loose that it's falling, falling off your face. Under actual game conditions, that frame, if it fits well with the right lenses, will give you the maximum boost for your performance on the field. And here's a bonus tip. We've had a lot of people talking about glasses fogging up. Well, certainly when we have these masks during this period of COVID, the lenses can fog up, but a good sports pair of glasses just sit pretty comfortably on your head and we're not gonna be playing sports with the mask on. So why else would it fog up? Well, one of the main reasons is that when you're playing your sports, you're sweating, you get hot, there's increased body temperature, increased sweating, and the difference between the temperature of the outside air and what's near your body or near, underneath the glasses is such that that uh, water vapor condenses and fogs up your screen. Well, there's a couple different ways to address that. There is the possibility you can purchase from the optical shop an anti-fog spray that you can uh, spray inside of the lenses, and that should help reduce that fogging. Secondly, if there's good ventilation in the frames, they're not stuck really on your face, but there's a good air movement, then the temperature inside that frame won't be quite as warm as it would be if it was a solid seal, and that will reduce fogging as well. And even some people feel that if you actually spit inside the glasses and kind of wipe that uh, on the inside of the frame, not so much that it blocks your vision, but enough there's a very thin coat, that can also reduce the amount of fogging uh, that you might experience. Fogging is certainly something to worry about, but hopefully with those tips, you won't experience that problem. Buying sports glasses can be a daunting task, but it doesn't have to be. If you use these 10 tips, that should make it much, much easier for you to choose the right frame for you. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you can be notified every time, each week in fact, when we publish two new videos to help you understand sports vision and how to apply these techniques, these sports vision knowledge to your game to increase your performance. Also, don't forget about our blog at www.sportsvisionbydrlabby.com where we have written information similar to the video information, but a little bit longer, a little more detailed that can help your game as well. Thanks for watching. We hope it's been helpful and we look forward to seeing you on another one of our videos.